It's 26th of November and it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Nice dry day, although we had really absolutely deluge here for the last uh, 10 days. So I have to say the um, crimson crushed tomatoes are no more. We took them down, in fact Nigel took them down on 24th uh, with the first spot of blight. As you can see, all that is left some of the marigolds which I might just take today out and look how lovely that deal is that will go very nicely in Gravelax for Christmas um, everything else I will be taking out just do a little self-seeded marigold um, I will I will clear that bed I'm a little bit puzzled what happened to all those lovely beans that we uh, field beans we've planted in this bed hmm another little job I'm going to be doing is the um, planting some more garlic I brought some of that very basic Provencal garlic we put m more fancy variety here called the rose Provencal here and it failed to germinate as you can see that's the um, elephant garlic in the middles here and the basic one which I'm planting here is gone wild. The other thing we will be doing today is clearing up this bed. I will be making sure that everything is out. So um, I believe, well, Terry mentioned that um, I need to go really take it all out just in case the grubs bury themselves and they come up next year. Uh, I won't be planting any alleyums in this bed next year anyway. Cleared uh, the little bed here from the beans, obviously cutting the beans at the soil level um, and just disposing of the leaves and put some more field beans and I'm going to do the same with this little bed. But that will happen after I finish doing these two jobs. We just managed to put the bee guards, um, mouse guards, on both hives. And I'm just checking they already start. they fine for food. We'll just make it warmer for them. Well, as you can see, these guys are coming in very nicely and they just came out. It's really far too hot, cold for them, but they came out to see what's going on. All I've done, I checked that they have a good access. If they need it, which they, I'm sure they want because of the honey we left, but they, I still put some food for them and also just uh, uh, put some stuff to the, the top of the hives under the headboard. I've st put some polyesterin from recent purchases. It's always good to uh, do that and it's the same for this hive. So, as these are completely brown, this is the best time to cut them down, uh, weed and mulch with, I'm mulching with green compost. As you can say, we have a quite high sort of uh, um, fencing here around the beds, just because we have deer and rabbits, and I am not prepared to share our crops. I mean, these are the crops which come as early as uh, April, and um, I'm really, really looking forward for the very first time to harvest these asparagus beds. So this is the second bed and Nigel is doing exactly the same thing. Are we saving the, the things? They look quite nice when you put them on top, kind of dressed up. It tells you for a while what kind of crop that is. Makes an additional mulch. So, as you can see, the, the weeds here are not very 
persistent, they're quite easy to remove. And, um, well, that's always good news. These are not difficult to control. So I just get on with the rest of it. I will just get rest of the, with the rest of it. I have to say, those asparagus um, spears, those ferns are really difficult to cut. They're quite tough. So the bed is now clear of wheat and I'm just putting some compost in and hopefully Nigel is gonna spread it and then we'll be able to cover the bed the same way as it was before and ready till we start cropping in April. All is left to do now to put all these lovely ferns on top to mulch it and Nigel is doing just that and then we will cover the Then we will cover it back with the fencing so we have no visitors during the winter started digging and familiarize themselves with that bed. Well hello from Nigel <laughs> but, but goodbye from both of us. So what have we been up to today? Cutting back the asparagus, covering the spar asparagus up uh, putting the mouse defender on the hives. Um, so hopefully next year we're going to have a really nice crop, very fast crop. As, as it happens, Nigel just found one asparagus spear. <laughs> and um, let's not forget, we still get a couple of tomatoes now and then in the polytunnel. Uh, also, uh, just Yes, to say that on 24th of November, I'm repeating that, Nigel cut off all the tomatoes in the, um, here in the allotment, the, the field tomatoes, uh, and, and now I'm going to be making massive, massive vat of, of green tomato chutney, as well as some of them are ripening. So yes, that's it from us this uh, weekend. Surprisingly, we've done quite a lot. Uh, we also gathered lots of lots of water uh, to put in, into the very large um, IBC tank. And um, if you know, if the weather permits, we will be back tomorrow. And if not, we will see you next week. So it's goodbye for me. And it's goodbye for me. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.